Okay, uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, good evening and welcome to our call for tonight. So good evening to you all. And uh, we're gonna do a little something different tonight. Uh, I am gonna do a, uh, a Q and A, something I haven't done in a long time. I'm gonna turn on my camera. Um, you are going to have to look at my ugly mug here. And, uh, um, and uh, I am gonna talk a little bit about new market or workshops and things that I'm gonna be doing um, starting this weekend as I promised. And uh, so let me, uh, let me do this. Um, I think you can probably see uh, my screen. I'm going to turn on my camera and uh, we, will, we will get started. Let's see, is this working? Okay, I think it's gonna work. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I, I think I, I think I am on. Uh, so good to see you all, everybody. And uh, so uh, I do want to take uh, any questions that you might have. I'm going to pull uh, your questions in front of me um, that you might uh, that you might see. And uh, so here's what we're going to do uh, tonight. I do want to talk about um, what we're going to be doing going forward. Um, on Saturday nights, uh, I'm going to continue to do the training. Um, I'm going to start with Q and A. And then what I'm going to do is after the Q&A, maybe 10 or 15 minutes, uh, what I'll be doing is I will be doing a training um, for uh, what we're going to be doing. So in other words, uh, one of the things we talk about is uh, doing a training in order to pitch, in order to sell um, the PLR that you have. And uh, I will be showing you how I do that. And obviously, you don't have to do it the way I do it. But the fact is that, you know, if you have a way that, that someone is doing it, then you can say, I don't really like that way, but I do like this thing and I think I'll do it this way. So I'm going to be uh, going into the market that I'm going to be talking about, which is my local area, and I'm going to be pitching um, various PLR products. And that is what I'm going to do on Saturday nights. Um, quite honestly, um, I have done enough training uh probably um, on my YouTube channel forever about how to sell PLR. And quite frankly, it doesn't really change. Um, you and I, we, we have to have an audience. Um, we have to build our list. And those things are not going to change. They're not going to change whether or not you're talking about uh, AI or you know social media. You still have to build your list. That list has to trust you. And you've got to turn that list into an audience and you have to, have to ask them to buy things. And you do that by email. So everything else quite is not going to be any different going forward. Now, there may be eventually a replacement for email. Um, as of right now, there is not one. Uh, so, uh, so, so that's really the crux of it. And so you've got to go into a market. You've got to get people to trust you. You've got to build an audience, and then you have to ask, have to ask them to buy things, in particular information products. And that's really what we're going to be doing in New Market Workshop. So here's what I want to do. Um, I will open it up for questions. I'm going to talk through a few things, and then I will come back to your questions. And uh, let me kind of go through this. Um, just so that you'll know, um, we do have our Spotify videos that are now available. This replaces Anchor.fm. So if you have been selling or you have been teaching your customers using our Anchor.fm videos, that platform is entirely different. In fact, if you right now, if you go to Anchor.fm, it will send you to podcasters.spotify.com. So uh, you, you really have to not be teaching that platform. Uh, you should be teaching this new platform in a new course. If you're an ultimate insider, um, this course is available in the member area for 50% off, right? 50% off of the uh, price if you use your insider discount. Also, um, if you're if you're not yet an Ultimate Insider, you can get that at, um, and I think I've got the U wrong URL here. It's actually um, TPMC and then number two. I'm going to go ahead and write that in, <laughs> so so I have that right. I don't want to uh, I want to send you to the wrong place. Okay, so that's what it is. Uh, TPMC two. Um, that is our um, new URL uh, for uh, or for our new podcasting course. And so, yeah, so if you've been using Anchor and you have been teaching your customers about Anchor, um, what you really do have to do now is start telling them about, uh, about Spotify. There are some advantages to using Spotify. 
that are not available. They were not available inside of Anchor. One in particular is that you can do video podcasts, and I did cover that in the course. And uh, now, and I covered this right at the end. I'm not sure if it's going to be a separate uh, PLR video course, but there are YouTube um, YouTube podcasts, and I did cover that in this in this Spotify course because Spotify Spotify has a way for you to uh, um, a post a video, and if your if you if your podcast is a video podcast and you're showing it just in Spotify, you can have video in your in your in your podcast. You just have to upload it to Spotify. That's the only place you're going to be able to see it. But obviously, you can take that same video, and you can put that video in YouTube. And YouTube has a podcast section. I think what I'll do is I'll kind of show you that here. Um, let me see if I can kind of pull up YouTube uh, on another screen, and you can see it. Um, and it's just another way of your being able to uh, promote your podcast. Now, you know, if you're going to use um, if you're going to use Anchor or you're going to use Spotify, then um, unless you really have somebody working with you, um, that's going to be enough. Uh, but um, but if you want to really promote your podcast, let me pull this uh, screen up here. Um, you can actually do it here in YouTube, and I'll show you this here. We go inside of the content, and if you go inside of your YouTube channel and you you and you look at your channel content, you're going to see a tab here that says podcast. Right. And if you go to podcast, what you'll notice is that there's a button here that says add this podcast to your YouTube channel. And basically what you'll be doing is you'll be adding a playlist. And so if you have or you can make a YouTube playlist of any of your content, you can now make that content your video podcast. As of right now, um, I don't think that there is a, an RSS feed to that podcast. It's just showing on YouTube right now. And I don't know that it is. What they're saying is that they're going to put this on YouTube music. And I think, um, let's see, I think it was podcasts.youtube.com or youtube.com forward slash podcast. Uh, let's see. YouTube uh, forward slash podcast. Let's see if that's the URL. Yeah, and so basically what they're saying is that they will put you on their podcast page sometimes. Now, obviously, I don't know what the the uh, uh, the, the the requirements are, but they're saying you've got the opportunity to be featured on their podcast page if that's what you want to do. But regardless, you know, if you've got a video and you're using that video to put it inside of Spotify for your podcast, you definitely want to make sure that you also put that video here in the podcast section of your YouTube channel. And you do that, just like I said, just by turning this playlist into a podcast. Right. So that that's that's sort of um, that, that's sort of what happened, uh, what we did in the course. I talked to your customers and explained that to them. So uh, just so those don't know, even though that's technically not Spotify, it's related to Spotify. Um, in that in that respect and uh, and so basically yeah so basically in this course I just kind of, I go over Spotify as a podcast host and as you know it's a good thing to teach to your new marketers because it's free it doesn't cost anything to host your podcast on Spotify now of course there are you know there are elements that you know uh, you you have some limitations obviously um, you're not limited in terms of what and about the amount you can publish, but you know you're not going to get great analytics. There's certain things that they want you to they want to move you into a premium program in order to get some of the some of the higher tier features. Um, so they're going to be trying to push that uh, onto you. It could happen in in the future where they come back and say, "Hey, you know what? You've done a lot free. We're going to place some limits on all these people who have free accounts." That's certainly something that you've seen people do in the past, and I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if they do that. But as of right now. Spotify podcasting is free. You know, again, if you go to anchor.fm, you will see um, you will see Spotify podcast. And uh, obviously, uh, you can get uh, you can get that uh, course there. You can also get it as an ultimate insider. Um, you can get that course as an ultimate insider, um, and it's fifty percent off of the uh, pricing. Okay, so uh, if you have any questions um, that I can answer for you. 
um, please write them in the box. I'm going to talk to you briefly about New Marketer Workshop. Um, basically, what we're going to be doing for the next 52 weeks, um, maybe longer. I mean, I'm probably going to have to take a week off here or there. But what we're doing is we're going to implement that. So it's, I'm not charging for this. All I'm going to say is that you do have to have um, New Marketer Workshop. So if you have it, um, then you can participate. Um, if you don't have it, make sure you get it. Um, you can get it at this URL. Um, or you can also get it with any um, with any of our front end products, or there's also a version of this that you get free uh, to you as an Ultimate Insider. So you can get it any of those two ways. You can get it just as part of your membership as, as Ultimate Insider. You can get it here at this URL, um, plrshow.com forward slash TNMW combo, or um, if you go through any of our front end offers, it's always the bump offer. So you can always get it that way, and uh, and it's and it's it's obviously discounted when you get it as a bump offer. So if you were to go and get our podcasting course, um, you'll see New Marketer Workshop. Our 52 week live session is um, a um, it's a bump offer that you get. So you don't have to pay the forty seven dollars. You can just pay for it at twenty seven dollars. Um, let me kind of uh, talk you through a little something. So if you have it, then one of the things that you can do. I'm just going to show you this here. If you go inside of that course, uh, you will see here, there's a link here um, in section nine at the very top. You want to go inside of there and there's a thread um, that you're going to join. You're going to sign up using um, this link and that's going to take you to become part of the, the implementation group. So that's going to take you to Extreme Community. It's a private thread. So, if you, so it cannot be seen um, if, unless you go through this link. So if you go through that link, you'll be able to be part of the thread. Um, if you are in Extreme Community, you will not be able to see it unless you go through this link. And again, that link is inside of New Marketer Workshop. And again, the reason I'm doing that is because um, it is a prerequisite. You do have to have the course in order to benefit from what I'm going to be doing. I will be going through this for the next 52 weeks. Um, you will be able to post to the thread as to as to how you're doing it. You know, if you hit a roadblock, then you know we'll be able to help you, and you'll be able to help each other, right? And so that's really the idea of this. And then at the end, um, I may start charging just for this group, and I may start charging for it just for the you know at midstream. So if it starts to become something where I'm I'm really having to put in a lot of time, which is fine, uh, I will I will then start to charge for this. As of right now. All I'm really saying is that if you have New Marketer Workshop, you can go inside a New Marketer Workshop, go to uh, that link, and then you'll be able to get access to it. Let me kind of go back here and show you this again. Uh, let me go backwards here uh, once more. If you go down here to link number nine, it says click here to implement New Marketer Workshop. Go inside of there and then get the implementation link. Uh, okay, any any one of them, Gail. Um, they should be right at the top of your of your screen there. Um, and if, if if not, then just let me know and I'll send you the link. But um, if you go inside of of your dashboard, um, it should be right near the top. And let's see, this one says. Let's just see what this one says. This says 2021. I think it might. The other one might say 2022. So either one, it has to be the live content. So the live content is the one that has the link. So it's not going to be the tutorials. It's just going to be the live content. So the, because the live content is where I did 52 weeks. And so it'll be that um, any place in one of the live courses. All right, good question. All right, so uh, any, uh, any other questions? I'm going to go through some of the questions I see here. Um, and your questions don't have to be about new market or workshop. It can be about anything that you're trying to do to build your brand and to sell your PLR. Um, maybe you hit a roadblock. And uh, let me kind of go back through some of the questions here. Okay, so uh, so so uh, Craig is asking. Um, he's got a domain name, and the question is, how do you start marketing this? And so basically the, the the real best thing to do craig is to start with um start with creating a training archive 
And so if you can start training on a regular basis, you can train on anything that you're going to train for free because you're trying to eventually build trust with people so that when you ask them to pay you monthly, they will come to trust you. And so you can do that training on YouTube Live. You can do a webinar like I'm doing here, and then you can take the recording and you can post it. But basically, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to position yourself as an educator some in some market. It can be your local market. It can be within a specific niche. Let's, let's say you're going to work with seniors you know, who are, and the example I always use, who drive an RV, right? You're going to position yourself in that market. You are going to start the process by training on a weekly basis. And even if nobody comes, what you're doing first is you are building a training archive. You have to do that because when somebody comes and they look at you, they're going to want to know, are you serious and can I follow you? And one of the ways that you say, yes, I can, you can follow me, here's the training I've been doing for the last whatever weeks. You know, let's say you, you have a training archive of five weeks. That says to people that you're going to be there next week. And so they can commit to you on a Thursday night at 7 p.m. or whenever you have it, or they can commit to watch the replay because you've proven that. So the first thing to start marketing is going to be to start training on a regular basis because when you start meeting people, what you're going to say is, oh, well, I do a live training every Thursday night at 7 and it's, it's at this URL. And if you want to watch the replay, it's here. And so you start saying that to everybody. You start putting that in your email signature so that everything you send out, it starts saying, come to the free training where, you know, you can do it just like I said. You can do it Q&A for 10 minutes and then do your training for 30, right? And so, and so you, 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 you start pointing people to that training on a personal level, right? So you meet people, whether it's on social media, you start, when you, when you start putting together your, um, like your Facebook covers and your Twitter cover and your YouTube cover, it should say on there, tra uh, you know, Every Thursday night, go to this URL at 7 p.m. to catch me. Now, you have to be there, obviously, and I think I, you know, that I'm not saying that you're not going to be, but that's really the, the, the first step is to establish you are a trustworthy teacher because the whole strategy is based on positioning yourself as an educator in your niche. Now, remember, this this new marketer workshop is designed to do two things. Number one, it's designed for you to do it so that you can teach it. So when you tell somebody, hey, position yourself as an educator or however you say it, let's say you decide to change the wording around. Let's say that you decide to say something like position yourself as a teacher because that's how you're going to brand it. You need to have done that in order to be credible. So that when you start teaching, you will be teaching from a position. You'll say, you know what? I've got a 52-week program I've done personally done, and I've seen it work, and I'm going to teach you how to do it now. So, so, the, so the whole thing is really structured so that you can do what we're going to be doing for the next 52 weeks. You're going through it, and then you're going to teach people what you're learning. So let's say that you decide to go into the dog walking niche. That's always the example that I use. And you're teaching other dog walkers how to build their dog walking business. You want to make sure that you have applied the principles so that when you give that those dog walkers the eight undeniable principles of having a growing dog walking business, right? Let's say your principle, let's say you've got eight principles. You can speak to those principles because you've done them, right? And so and so, the, and so the whole New Market Workshop is designed to do those two things. Number one, it's designed for you to go through it so that you can determine what your language is going to be. And then number two, it's designed for you then to teach it to your customers in your own language and in your own um, 
in your your own your own market and in your own tone, right? So 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 I did it in a very uh, me tone, right? So if you if you know me, like it's it's me, right? So so the whole thing is me. You don't want to teach it like me, right? That that you you want to teach it like you, so that the people will then gravitate towards you. And there's more to it than just saying the words. Um, uh, one of our one of our insiders, Jane, she's very uh, um, she, you know she's very knowledgeable, very soft spoken, and you know I've seen her teach some of the things, and she's and she teaches it in her style. She's kind of she's kind of redone it in a way that you know is very Jane, and so that's really what you want to do, right? You wanna you wanna you wanna go through it so that you so that you ingest it, and then you can. Uh, put it out in your own persona. Um, now, I will say this: you, you're not going to go through all 52 weeks and then start. So you, you're going to maybe. Um, when I was, um, I think I taught um, I taught community college uh, back in. I think I taught community, taught community college back in 06, 05, on ground, right before before online. And and so I said, you know, uh, I remember talking to the department head. I said, you know, I don't know if I can do this. Um, I, I don't know if I can learn, if I know this subject well enough. He said, listen, what you have to do, Charles, is you, you have to be, you have to be in third grade when your students get to first grade. So you need to stay two, uh, you know, two weeks ahead of them and you'll be fine. And I remembered that because that's really how I taught a lot of those on-ground classes, because I would then read the textbook and I would kind of get my examples ready, but I stayed two weeks ahead of them. And whenever I did stay two weeks ahead of them is when I lost my confidence in doing it. And so, and so you don't have to go through all 52 weeks of New Marketer Workshop, but you do want to go through it. You do want to work out the, uh, the, the bugs from your perspective and then you want to teach it from your perspective and you want to use the language so 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 one of the one of the things that is most important in this era of chat gpt and ai is that you need to have this unique language that sounds like you that's your language you need to have some unique terms that are your terms so that when they when people hear them and let's say that they go Google them, you want them to associate those terms with you because you're the only person that says them in that way. And so part of, you know, I think it's in, I think it's in lesson 47, where we talk about publishing under that unique way you say it, because you want those things in a book. And you could, you know, right now it's easier than any, it's easier than any other time for somebody to scrape all the content off the web. Right. So 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 giving it all the way on the Web is no longer a surefire way. Um, you know, I think I can I can probably show you this. Right. Um, let me show you this. Um, I'm going to go I'm going to need to go into Chrome in order to do this. And I'm pretty sure you know this. Right. But I mean, I just thought it was pretty, um, pretty interesting. I'm just going to type in Bard. Right. Let me type in Bard dot google dot com right so let's just take a look at that and and I'm I'm doing this to make a point right so okay so here's Bard what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to YouTube right let's go to YouTube and let's just go to a YouTube video right it doesn't matter which one for for sake of this video we're just gonna go to one right here and let's go to um, this one. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to stop this, right? I'm going to take, I'm going to copy this title. And I'm just going to say, summarize this YouTube video. Right? I'm not even going to be nice and ask it. I'm just going to ask it to summarize. And so I'm going to tell you why this is important. Right? So, so, so basically, 
what you don't want to do is you don't want to put all your best content out on the web if somebody can do this right now it, it it still could bring you traffic it still could bring you customers but if that's your best idea i mean somebody could very well just do just what i just did and they don't have to work half as hard as you did to create that content so you just want to kind of keep that in mind when you're starting to put together your ideas and making them free on the web you need to make sure you've codified them in a way so that people can only get the whole of it if they buy it and they buy it from you and that's really you know kind of what you want to what you want to do right so um boy you know that, that's, that's a long-winded answer to your question craig but that's that's uh <laughs> That's my that's my answer. So sorry about that. Sorry for going on so long about that. So let me see. Um, okay, so um, I have tons of your PLR video products. Where do you suggest to get eBooks in relation to your video products to create a more unique offer? That's a great question. Um, there are a couple of ways to do it. Um, you could go and 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 eBooks are hard, right? Because an eBook has to represent you. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to get content that's not going to represent you, right? So, so just getting anybody to write it is 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 could be a strategy, but um, you could use you could you 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 could um, uh, get um, here's where here's where where I would say right now I know a lot of people are saying go to Chat GPT and do this. I'm going to say you don't want to do that not the original content um you can find reliable vendors like um you know the typically i try to re, i try to recommend reliable vendors um tiffany lambert uh um, um you know people like that who aaron chandra chandra um who write this content who research it themselves and then who make sure that it's right so you got to find people who are reputable so that when you put your name behind it, it doesn't have to say your name on it, but when you put your name behind the research, I'm not concerned about grammar, right? Because I don't know if you noticed, nobody can spell too good anymore, right? So, um, but I am concerned though about the depth of the research. And anybody now can get a chat bot to scrape the web and get some stuff. And, and a lot of that stuff is, is surface area stuff. Right? Where is it that is that that you can get in-depth um, uh, uh, content that you don't have to write yourself? And so, if you're going to do that, right? Um, um, I have. I will try to do a, more of, and I have been. I think uh, Chad El Jasir, um, he has um, something that is, you know, good. Right? Um, Chad Chad tends to uh, put things out that are good. You just gotta find people that are reputable. If you're not going to write it yourself. And, and at this point, I'm going to say that writing a book using the chat bot is probably not going to be the best thing. But one thing you could do is when you get PLR is you could make it you could make it more unique. And um, there's a tool that I have. Uh, let's see if I can uh, access it here. Uh, and uh, let me see if I can find it. It's called. Uh, you've probably heard of it, right? This is no, it's no mystery. It's called Quillbot. And Quillbot will, I think Quillbot's like $199, it's try, like $99 a year. And what you can do is you can rephrase things. Now you gotta, you gotta really watch this thing, right? It's not gonna do it, it's not gonna do it like automatically, right? It's not going to, um, it's not gonna make it like, uh, you know, you're just going to just pop it in, it's just gonna work. But, yeah, it's pretty, it does a pretty decent job for a paid tool. And uh, it's one way that you can take PLR that is already good in terms of the depth of research and, and, and massage it. So if you're going to buy it, um, my answer to you, Craig, is that you find reputable people. I've just given you three. Um, I will, and again, um, I, I, will, I will do the best I can going forward to make sure that you know there are reputable sources in in the um in extreme community 
of people who have that written content, what you're going to do is you're going to take that written content and you're going to you're going to brand it using something like Quillbot. There are other rewriters, so this is not this is not the end all be all. I know a lot of people have them. You're going to use them for free. All I'm going to say is, you know, don't get them free and then start relying on it because you're eventually going to have to change. You have to pay for it anyway. So get something you can pay for, and then you can use it that way. Uh, okay, so let me uh, move on to the next question. Move on to the next question. It is 7:35, and uh, I've probably kept you longer than, <laughs> taking you longer, you all longer than uh, you want. And uh, let's see. Okay, so Martin says, how far in, oh, ahead in the 52-week workshop should we be before we start teaching it? I think Martin, I'm, I'm going to say two weeks. I, two weeks will give you a good enough cushion. So I think that you go through the first, so let's say, okay, so you go through, position yourself as an educator, and then you're gonna go through quantifying. Once you have quantified, then Martin, you can start teaching session one, right? So so, so in other words, you, you, you go through the first two, I'd say maybe two and a half sessions, then start teaching session one and just stay ahead, right? And so if you can, if you can do that effectively, then that's good enough. I think two, two to two and a half weeks cushion is a good margin in order to, because if you do that, it'll keep you motivated, right? And so one of the other things that, you know, that'll do is that'll push you. So in other words, if you, if you know you got you to gotta come up with something good in two weeks, that'll kind of keep you on the straight and narrow to implement. And so the key to this is implementation so that you are implementing and you are learning something unique. So when you when you actually implement this, or let's say that you decide, well, I don't really agree with Charles here, but this is what I do think. When you do that, that's unique content. Nobody else can produce that in the world. Nobody else who has this PLR can do that because you have created something unique just by saying, I disagree, I went and did this, these are the results I got. And so then you start saying, well, instead of, you know, um, strategic marketing, let's say you don't like that, right? You don't like that whole USP list, but you don't like that, right? You don't have to. What do you like, right? What do you want to teach in that in its place? Do you even want to have that? And so you then, you, but you do need to go through it before you decide, well, I don't like it. You want to decide you, you don't like it based on having gone through it and done some level of implementa implementation. So, uh, so Aunt Martin, to answer your question, I'm going to say two to two and a half weeks is a good cushion for you to have. Okay, let me see what I got here. Okay, uh, Craig's question is, can you forward me links to these people? Yes, here's what I'll do, Craig. I will put there um i will tonight i will put their um urls in the in extreme community and i will do that in the partner recommendation area so let me see um let me, i will go let me kind of find that here let me find that move quill by out of the way So there is a section here called partner recommendations. And this is where I will put it. So I will I will put it, I will put the URLs of the people that I think are reputable here in um, in this area. Okay, let's see. Okay, so get, good, good question, Gail. Okay, so here's what we're doing, Gail. Um, we're going to go through the live sessions. Now, the the tutorials, um, you can you can sort of sell those as you see fit. So the tutorials you don't have to go through as a user. That's more for you to sell. Um, the tutorials are for you to put inside of the of your membership. It's to teach your 
excuse me, it's to teach our customer. So, th so, so that's what the tutorials are for. We are going to go through the 52 week live session that I finished, I think in August, and that's the branding session. So, there, so, so that's where it's all PowerPoint. And basically I just ran, a, ran off at the mouth uh, for, uh, you know, 30 minutes to an hour every week. And so we're gonna go through each one of those sessions and implement it. And so when it comes to the tutorials though, where I'm going step-by-step step through every little process, well, those are for you to sell and for you to use for your customer. And you can use those however you want. Um, I don't think, I think that for the most part, people that are um, ultimate insiders, people that are marketers, they probably know a lot of that stuff, but just haven't really taught it and haven't taught it in sequence. Um, one of the things I talked about um, here in my, um, one of my emails was this thing. Right, I, I bought this back in like, uh, I don't know, 20, 2011 or something like that. It, it, is, it is the most awesome thing um, I've ever bought. Ever bought. Um, it, is, it is huge. It was every uh, principle explained. And so this is almost like my version of it. So I'm gonna basically do this, do a fraction of it for new marketers, but it's a tutorial step-by-step -step over the shoulder. Now when he did it, he did a written version. Hold on, I, you know, I think I'll get it. I'll show it to you. Okay, so this thing is like, it's like a book, right? So he did it all written. You can see it. And uh, I thought, I, mean, I still, I just think this is the most, this is the most awesome thing. And, uh, but I'm doing a video version of this because I'm a video guy, right? So, so basically, and, and I'm not going to do all of this because the series is just for new marketers. Now, it could turn out that there could be, by the time I finish that series, there, there, there could be there's going there's going to be well over 100 250 200 videos and you can you can sell those as a group you can put them you know um you can use them kind of a la carte so you can take one and put them in this section one put them in that section so they're sort of made that way but what we are going to do over the next 52 weeks is we're going to go through the live sessions and we are going to implement each one of those 52 sessions week by week so by the time that 52 week ends, 52 weeks ends, um, you will have redefined your philosophy and you will have put together your branding uh, statement. And you will have put together your own, basically, your own new marketer workshop. It'll just be in your own voice. Yes, that, that's correct. That's correct, Gail. Okay, so Craig's question is, um, with, with the Spotify product, it's a basically a new, yeah, it's new, Craig, because um, if you go to anchor.fm right now, so let's say that you go to, so let's say you have our anchor.fm product. If you go to anchor.fm right now, it goes to Spotify. So anchor.fm is no longer even a thing anymore. So, you, you know, if you're if you're using anchor you, you got to stop doing that or you, you should not be teaching that and when i did podcast masterclass i just glazed over anchor but spotify is first of all it's free second of all um, it has everything you need now for a new podcaster maybe they have limited resources um that is really what they they would benefit by doing this so, so this is a new course, right? So this brand new course, and you put it right on top of Podcast Masterclass, right? You put it right on top. So, you know, you, you add on to it. So it's not, it's, not like, um, it's not like one is better than the other one. You, you, you really should be teaching both of them together because and quite honestly, if you have new marketers, 
I say they need to start with Spotify before they go trying to get fancy with podcasting. Because one of the number one things that happens to people, as I understand it, is um, it's just you you run out of you run out of time, and people lose interest because of all the technical stuff. Well, with with Anchor, you can pick up your mobile device if you have their app. You can create a podcast episode, um, just and and it's it's already posted. It's on iTunes in ten minutes, right? So 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 I would say that if you have uh, people you're teaching. And you teach them how to do a podcast and they're new, they don't know anything. And they, you know, they're sort of trying to find their way, trying to figure out what an autosponder is and all this stuff. Don't complicate their life by telling them they got to go, they got to go get a podcast host. They got to get a podcast website. That's my opinion. You, um, you got to keep, I think that if you keep that simple for your customers, you tell them to get, to you, you put them in this course and tell them, tell them directly, go to Spotify. And to and when they're ready to get fancy, then um, then they can go and they can go do all the other stuff. That's um there's a there's an expression or a saying that I don't even know if I you know, I don't know if I said it or just I don't know where it came from, right? So if you know where it came from, you can let me know. But uh, it's 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 uh, the, the expression is first you get good, then you get fancy. And so before a person can really start getting fancy, they got to get good. And you can do Spotify and be every day, and then you can get fancy. Right? Okay, man, it's 7.45. I I'm, I'm, didn't mean to keep you all, all, that, all that long. Any other questions I can answer while I'm here? Any other questions? Okay, so um, let's see. Um, again, uh, let's see our our friend uh, uh, at friends at Fire Launchers. They're doing something called Vertical Video Fire Sale, and uh, that's uh, that's an, that's a PLR product, so uh, business related. And uh, one of those folks that I think has good uh, written PLR, um, his name is Chad El Jasir. And uh, he's got something called Reinventing Yourself After 50, right? I think that's just a cool title because I know a lot of people are trying to reinvent themselves after 50, right? So it's a hot topic. You don't have to, obviously, you're going to change the topic, but it's a good topic and it's a good subject. And so you can pick up Chad's PLR at the PLRshow.com forward slash Chad E. And, um, and then also, again, yes, make sure that you get our Spotify videos at the PLRshow.com forward slash TPMC, the number two. All right, so uh, any other questions? Any other questions? Okay, so next week, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do a brief Q&A. And then the training I'm actually going to do is going to be a pre-sell training of a PLR. So you will get to see me do uh, pre-sells. And uh, then you can just kind of do your own pre-sales for the products that you that you have. Okay, so uh, thank you very much, everybody. Appreciate y'all hanging out with me here. Um, let's see if I can find the uh, find the uh, go to webinar uh, deal here. And uh, oh, here it is. And uh, have a great night and a pleasant tomorrow. Take care.